Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share how to create a stopwatch in Excel. First, what we have to do is decide the size of the stopwatch. After that, we select the number of cells that we want and we click on Merge and Center. Then we type 00, zero colon 00, zero colon 00, zero. then Enter. Okay, then we format the font and the font size okay, according to our preferences. Then we make it to Middle and Center. If let's say we want two digits for the others, so what we have to do is go to the number format, then we look for more number formats. Look for time, then look for English UK, then we select the first one and OK. Then we'll have two digits. After that, we insert three command button. Okay, make sure it's active as controls. Okay, insert three command buttons, then we change the caption to start, stop and reset. Okay, then we can start to write our code already. To write a particular code, we can double click on this command button. For example, if let's say I want to start this stopwatch, then I will double click on start. Then we'll come to this page. As we can see here, I define a random variable A on top of this sheet. This is because I want this randy, random variable A to be used for more than one subject. For means that not only this subject but also others. So what we have to do is will be define on top of the sheet. If let's say we define in a particular subject, for example, like this, dim a as Berlin, then this random variable at a is only applicable for this subject. So this is what we don't want. Then we have to define on top of the sheet. And then bowling will be either true or false, means that only two possibilities. If let's say user click on start, I will first turn the value A to be true. So means that whenever it's true, I will execute this code. Okay, then if let's say the user click on stop, then I will turn the value to false. If let's say it becomes false already, then this loop will be terminated. Okay, then I will make use of the wait function. Okay, to add one second after it passes one second. Okay, so after the time passed by one second, then I will add one second to this stopwatch. Okay, so this stopwatch is located at row number 5 column hash. So I will write row number 5 column hash. Then I will use the date add function to add a second to the to this cell. Okay? This is the original value. If let's say this is already 1 second, the interval is second. So 1 second will be added to this second. If let's say I already have 1 second, so 1 second plus 1 second will be 2, then we'll return a 2 to this cell. If let's say I already have 2 seconds over here, then 1 second will be added to 2 seconds, then we'll return a 3 seconds, okay, and so on. After that, I will make sure that the format will be the formatting that I want, okay. After that, we have to add a two events. The purpose of adding these two events are first, we have to ensure that the value here will keep changing. Secondly, will be we have to ensure that we are able to press this stop button. If let's say we don't have these two events, we are not able to click on stop after we click on start because the Excel will keep on looping here and ignore this button. So we can't click on this. Okay, then for the last one, for the reset button, what we have to do is just turn it back to the original value. Now let's see our results. Okay, if let's say, okay, I want to click on this start button, make sure I click the design mode. Okay, I click on start. Okay, then the stop wall will be started. If let's say I click on stop, okay, then will be stopped. 
If let's say I click on reset, then it will turn back to zero. Okay, start. Okay, then stop. Okay, start will continue. Okay, stop. Okay, then start. Okay, then stop. Okay, then reset. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.